Today was an important day for Helldivers, as we liberated one of the greatest battlefields in the game, Malevolon Creek. By presidential decree, the president of Super Earth has officially recognized this day as Malevolon Creek Memorial Day. Malevolon Creek was more than just a battleground. It was a symbol of strength and perseverance. Despite the prolonged battles, Helldivers never lost sight of the planet's unique beauty, and they continued to hone their skills. They knew that something special awaited them on the planet, and their intuition proved them right. Malevolon Creek is a testament to their unwavering dedication to freeing the Super Earth space, and though they may never see it again, it will always hold a special place in our hearts. But here's a twist. The war in Helldivers 2 is not scripted, it's dynamic. In the cosmic theater of Helldivers 2, the story isn't something that merely happens to players, it's something they actively shape. Picture it, a century after Super Earth's triumph over the cyborgs, Terminids, and the Illuminate, we find ourselves embroiled in a galactic war. Infamous Joel is orchestrating a galactic war as an evil game master of some fantasy game, and he is determined to change the course of our game. What does today's events mean for Malevolon Creek and the future of the Galactic War? Are we going to see Malevolon Creek again in the future? That will most definitely happen, it's just a question of time. But let's face it, we can't completely eradicate the automatons or the terminates. We're merely at the dawn of an overarching galactic war. It would be a fantasy to believe we can permanently push back the automatons from Super Earth space. We might succeed, but it will be a fleeting victory, and remember, we still have at least one more faction to be introduced, those we call the Illuminate. And one more thing, there are planets and automatons invaded space yet to be liberated. The question arises, will we be battling two, three, or even more factions in the future? Do you recall when we were on the brink of eradicating the Terminids on the eastern part of Super Earth space just a few weeks ago? We all thought it would be the perfect moment to introduce a third faction, but Joel had other plans. As we focused on the Terminids, he shifted the pace of the Galactic War and pivoted to the Automatons in the western parts of Super Earth's known space. The pace of the Galactic War is taking a turn that Joel did not anticipate. In fact, nobody at Arrowhead Studios expected the rising popularity of Helldivers 2 since its release. There's one more variable that no one expected to be so influential, the players themselves. At the dawn of the MMO games, a super cool game called EVE Online was released. As time passed, players started to live and breathe this game. They formed organizations, factions, alliances, and even traders arose, leading to massive wars that were followed everywhere on the internet. It's too early to compare Helldivers 2 and EVE Online, but EVE became popular because of the enormous following it created among players, and it still thrives today. Something similar is happening with Helldivers 2. Players are incredibly organized and dedicated to completing their orders from Super Earth officials. The sheer will of the players alone is propelling this game forward, and will continue to do so in the future. Because we, the players, all 8 million of us, are fighting one man, infamous Joel, and his never-ending invasions and units of Terminids, Automatons, and soon the Illuminate, and possibly a fourth faction. Reddit and Discord servers are the main places where organization takes place, and it's mind-blowing how they follow major orders together. One moment, a player posts the announcement of a major order and suggests attacking Planet Y, and just after a few dozen minutes, that planet will be swarming with Helldivers, finishing the major order in five hours, not in three days, which was the time limit of the assignment. Let's get back for a moment to Galactic War and its map. The map is divided into four quadrants, north, south, west, where automaton invasion is underway, and east, where terminids are thriving. We are aware that the Illuminate will eventually occupy one of these quadrants, but we don't know which one. It's uncertain who or what will occupy the last one and we have no hints of any future battles. Although Joel might know, he hasn't shared any information yet. When a new force appears, it will be a brutal challenge for us, the Helldivers. Joel, the mastermind behind Helldivers 2, doesn't always follow the conventional playbook. He might drop hints or let information leak out in unexpected ways, like when videos of various vehicles appeared on the internet that are still not available in the game, new guns we talked about in our shorts and new stratums. It looks like there might even be new variants of existing enemy types we know and love to squash, but we can't say for sure just yet. Joel is playing his cards pretty close to his chest and only giving us little tidbits of info in different ways to keep us interested and excited for what's coming next. He definitely knows how to keep us on our toes. However, we can't always expect things to happen the way we think they will. This has been proven in the past when we expected the game to develop in one direction but it took a sharp turn, as we have already mentioned. 
We were not prepared for the aerial units of automatons, but they have appeared in the last couple of days and are proving to be a nuisance to battle against. While we do not expect Malevolon Creek to return anytime soon, we know that surprises are inevitable, and we will be ready to face them with the fierce power of our guns and explosions of our strat gems. If you like the video and want to learn more about Helldivers too, click like, subscribe, and don't forget to follow us. Have a great Automatons and Terminids hunt!